it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the jiu-jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, okay, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 27 wins, 9 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting at a Portage, Indiana, USA, Darren the Damage Elkins. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, Griffin rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, the back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. He don't care what, John, what he got. John, what it doesn't got? Ma John, it doesn't matter. It does not matter how well you see yourself as a grappler. This guy's diff different level. Yeah. This guy's next level. You want to avoid this at all costs. Maintain distance. Do not go and grapple this guy. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted action, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Sergio Pettis continues to attack that lead leg. Pretty good right hand. He gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Big punch over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? All 
right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking his damage strikes up top. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. 30 total strikes have now landed for Darren Elvis. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a piston back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. Oh, he heard a battle with the jab. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Beautiful body kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. Caught that. No, there's danger in that, too. So when you start reaching out to catch that kick, you come to high kick. Then you're in a lot of trouble. And he counters with a left hand. Oh, big head kick. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Right there. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice punch by Lee. Caught the kick. Right under the elbow. Body kick land. Hands up, hands up. Elkins gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. One, two there. Oh, right hook attempt. No good. Big punch lands through the middle. Nice kick. These guys are going out. Well, he's got a pretty good side kick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Just misses with that one. Rip the body there. Round two is next. All right, so the kicks to the body, certainly the big storyline in that previous round. DC, take us through the replay. He did a fantastic job of finding his spots. He was sneaking that kick right up under the elbow and landing those nasty body kicks. He did a great job of recognizing a weakness in his opponent's game and really taking advantage of it. What are you doing out there? You have to defend yourself. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. Okay, a run, high run, run, number run. of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Keep doing it again. Do it again. And he can 
connects there, DC. Great job landing that ball. Trying to establish that jab once again. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Punch coming, it's blocks. Nice counter right hand lands for him. Again, he's looking for that left, it's not there. Elkins is lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. A beautiful punch. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Head kick. Oh, you can feel the breeze there, swinging a miss by Elkins. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into this strike. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Elkins is punched to the body, rejected there by the defense. Nice job by the opponent. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Well, he's really picked up the... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness. Strike attempt there, but a huge block. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside side. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, Sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Let him go. Time to let those hands He's go. throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. 107 total strikes have now landed for Darren the Damage Elkins. And landing with 45% accuracy tonight against Darren Elkins. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the last. Oh, what a head kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick, and now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Elkins' lower jaw is extremely swollen now. And both guys really throwing with authority. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Nice kick there by Elkins. All right, twenty seconds to go in the round. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Beautiful strike. Lance a glancing right hand upstairs. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the heads, the legs. Pretty good 
good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Lee gets caught with that punch. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Back and forth we go. He's able to slip the left. Just misses with the jab. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. He's hurt bad. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Slips. Try to establish that jab. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Going to the body there with the right kick. Oh, spinning back fist lands. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut. I, think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Nice punch there. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Elkins. Pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you can run knee to the body. But every time his opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And he lands the knee to the body. Inside, he's good now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Elkins is kicked to the body. That one blocked. All sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Oh, that right hand is on point. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Took that whole kick, yep. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out of oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knee to the body. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Great punch landing with so much power. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down now. Seconds winding down in round three. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh. 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 
All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. to land a high number of strikes here just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big punch land. One-two there by Darren Elkins. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. He blocks the punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big kick land. Elkins has got a bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get the two hands exactly where you want. Head kick. Whoa! Back to the feet. He's in trouble. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got it! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 18 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very...